Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with our pit run this week. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently we're on this boss here, Magma Opius. Let's take a look at his skills. So whenever an ally attacks dealing triggers, it will give a health boost to allies. Every third turn will give negative attack to enemies for one turn. And then on the sixth turn will kill enemies with zero attack. Okay, a couple things. Looks like they will have an attack steal skill, which means that we will actually lose attack on our heroes. And so we'll need to have heroes with higher attack in order to compensate for the attack steal. Also, we're going to see a health boost as well given to the enemies. Allies are, are them. And so what happens is, again, we'll need to have stronger heroes. If we have something like cleanse, that would actually get rid of the attack steal and then also allow us to then keep attacking. On the third turn, we're going to take, let's see, negative attack to our heroes for one turn. So we'll want to make sure that we have heroes that can deal more than 40 damage, so that way we can actually still keep attacking. Also on the sixth turn, we'll see enemies killed with zero attack. These enemies are us, and so if we have our heroes actually have less than 40 attack, they will be destroyed, because this third turn and sixth turn skill will stack up. So we want to make sure that we have heroes that have high enough attack, so that way we can avoid uh, the kill skill here. Okay, so yeah, we'll hop right in. Okay, and also we gotta turn off the auto. <laughs> Once again, I keep on turning on the auto. All right, let's take a look at the buildings. Okay, and we have this undead over here with some attack steal. We also have this insidious gorgon here with also a health boost and attack boost and some attack boost as well. I do want to keep summoning commons if possible, so what we'll do is we'll summon one here on B2, just to block. Whoa! Okay, you're seeing the attack steal skill happen there. We have the comic curse with some attack steal here and also some poison. We'll keep going, we'll attack on the open lane C here. And as you can see now on this turn, we have the negative attack. I'm not too concerned about these heroes, even though they are pretty strong, because we can take a little bit of damage. So we'll summon another hero over here on the one. Okay, we have this undead over here with another attack steal. At this point, we can do both of our skills. As you'll see here, we have our damage skill and then also our soul binder. So we'll actually just do the damage skill because these will then be destroyed. And then we'll summon another common over here on A2. And you see all these heroes are now destroyed. Okay, we have this child of chaos here summoning a tree in front of themselves. Also give an attack boost to a random chaos ally at the beginning. We'll go with our soul binders now. And then we're going to summon another common. And we actually have lethal here on the open lane C. So there we go. So that was Magma Opius. Okay, we're on the next boss here, Mei Li Moon Fan. Let's take a look at our skills. So whenever any melee hero appears, it will give mental shield to melee allies. Whenever mental shield is gone from the allies, it will give negative attack to ranged enemies. And then on the seventh turn, we'll deal damage to ranged enemies. Okay, a couple things. Looks like whenever any melee hero appears, either on our side or their side, they will get mental shield to their heroes. So we want to make sure that we can actually break through the mental shield first, because that will prevent some damage. And then afterwards, then we can keep attacking. Uh, on here, it says whenever a mental shield is gone from the enemy, it will give negative attack to our ranged heroes. So we want to make sure that if we do have ranged heroes, that they do have high attack. Otherwise, they won't be able to deal enough damage. Or if we have something like cleanse, that will also remove the negative effects happening here. On the seventh turn here, we'll take damage to our ranged heroes. So we want to make sure that we don't have as many ranged heroes on the field on the seventh turn. Or if we do, we want to make sure that they can take the damage. Okay, so yeah, let's hop right in. Okay, we did turn the auto off this time. <laughs> Let's take a look at the buildings. And at this point, I'm going to go over... I want to protect at least some of these buildings, so we'll get rid of this building over here, uh, yeah, attacking on C3. Yeah. Okay, we have this Igneous Girl here with some Splash to Chaos allies and also Death Trigger to deal damage to our Warlord. Keep summoning melee heroes over here for now. Woo! And so far they haven't summoned any melee allies, so that's that helps us out a lot. We'll keep going, we'll summon this range hero over here on C1. 
just for some protection behind the building and also the big toad. Okay, they finally have a melee ally, this Ruthless Executioner, with some bleeding to our heroes, also with some attack steal and the mental shield. We'll go with, let's see, we'll go with the damage skill now because the Igneous Girl is getting pretty strong. And we'll go with this range hero here on D1, just to spread out our damage. Didn't see the attack steal happening. We have our damage skill, getting rid of the two range heroes, so that's good. Okay, at this point, we will do our soul binders, so that way we can clear these out. Also give us some protection to our hero. And then we'll keep summoning another hero here, this time on B1, to spread out our damage. And at this point, we're just going to keep summoning commons if possible. Uh, in this case, we'll summon this one here on B2. That way we can keep attacking on the open lanes if we do get a range hero. Yeah. And we have this half moon priestess with some mental shield. When uh, she or the warlord is attacked, we'll deal damage to enemies around themselves. At this point, we are out of commons, so that's good. We'll keep on summoning actually our lower... Ra lower valued hero, so in this case we'll summon this melee hero over here on B2. Okay, we took damage to our range heroes, and that is okay. Another ruthless executioner over here. We'll do a shuffle to find some low value heroes. And none quite over here, so we'll do another shuffle. And we'll do one more shuffle. Okay, these are actually pretty good. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we'll, well, we'll still summon anyways. We'll summon this range hero over here on A1, just to spread our damage. Yeah! Okay, we have this Elf Slayer with some bleed. And we'll do... let's see... Yeah, we can do one more summon, why not? Yeah. And so, with the passive damage, we have... Uh, there we go. So that was Mei Li Moonfan. Okay, at this point we are waiting for the next boss to unlock, so we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.